Hello, welcome to For This Word, Katie. Today we're going to be using the man, the strength that you need, and resistant bag. So we're going to do some warm up first. Come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders are relaxed down from your ears. Stomach and chest curl. Inhale the right arm up, bring it across your chest, supported by the other hand. Go back, shoulder stretch, craving resistance. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release. Same arm up, lengthen, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch, chin up, eyes looking forward. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release, shake it out, the other side, arm up and across, pull back, shoulder stretch first, creating resistance. One more breath, we're going to slowly release, same arm up, lengthen first, place the palm behind your back, use the other hand to guide the elbow. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back, chin up, eyes looking forward. One more breath, slowly release, shake it up, hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows out, inhale one way, exhale the other, connecting your breath with your movements. Creating spaces between this shoulder blade, opening up lung, heart, chest. When you're in the center position, go into a full circle. Try to bring the elbows close to each other. When you're in the center, reverse, go the other way. Slowly come back to center to release. Shake it out. Next stretch. Here to shoulder extend the opposite arm up. Using the same hand as for the head. Lengthening stretch. Release any tension that you may have. And we go to the other side. Here to shoulder extend the opposite arm up. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Slowly come back to center. Inhale to open up the arms, chin up, half back, stimulating thyroid gland. Exhale to close, chin to chest. So do it a few times, both ways with stimulating thyroid gland. Inhale to open, exhale to close. Two more times, inhale to open, exhale to close. One last one, inhale open, exhale close. Cut back to center, take a breath here. Interlace the finger, press down, middle, ah, push the sky away. Repeat this several times at your own pace and your own breath. One last set. We're going to stay here for a moment and coming into a side bend. Outside hand, grab on the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Coming into a side bend. Inhale to lengthen in center, exhale to the other side. Outside hand, grab on the inside wrist. Inhale, center lengthening, exhale to the right, release the bottom arm. Top arm is a crescent moon. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Inhale to lengthen, exhale. Side bend, side body long. Inhale, come back to center, lengthening. Exhale, opposite hand, opposite side. 
three, two, one, very good, slowly, slowly release, and we're going to loop it on our thigh, so take your time to set up. Stomach and chest proud. We still have it around our thighs. So we're going to get to the front. I'm going to adjust my camera. Chair. Slightly tuck the tables in, put back your back. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Strong arms, strong core, work the thighs. Let's do another four, three, two, one, stay here, pulse it up and down. Be mindful of anyone who has any shoulder issues, cactus arms, and if you have any knee issues. Now we're gonna step side, come back, step, hands off ways for support. Baby step. Now this is not long enough, we're going to try it here, so maybe this is an easier one. Inside leg is the standing leg, transfer the weight to the inside leg.
engage your core abdominal muscles. Stomach is tight. Switching side we need, holding on to your chair for support. Inside leg is standing leg. Resistant band. Now, so this one is a longer one. So you don't have to hold on to the handle. I'm just holding on to the end of the strap. And what I'm going to do is we're going to inhale up, exhale down. Know your range of motion. Only go to where you're comfortable. Your band should be straight. You should be able to feel the resistance. Let's do another four. Three. Two. One last one. Slowly come back. Yeah. Still creating resistance. Tap the elbow close to your body. Maybe shorten your band. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Lifting along the strap. Open up. Try your best.
let's do another four. Three. Two. One, slowly release. Do a few rounds of shoulder roll, release any tension that you may have. And we're gonna place it. Both feet into the loops. First, we're gonna pull it up. Palm facing up. Tuck the elbows close to your body. Shoulders are relaxed, core strong. Alternating. Let's do another four. Three, two, one last one. Slowly, slowly release. Just have one foot on the strap. Widen your stand. I need a shorter band, so I'm putting it just below the handle, pull it up. If this is too intense, hold on further up, your choice. Depending on your ability, your body build. Let's do another four, three, two, one, slowly release, switch inside. Set yourself up, widen your stand, pull it up. Let's do another four, three, two, one, slowly release. And we're gonna work on the lower part of the body, so adjust your posture. You still have your band on your foot, and we're gonna lift it up. Now don't lean back too much. Adjust the length of your resistance band. We're not kicking. Only bring the legs up to where you're comfortable. If you can only go so high, stay here. If you can bring it up to the hip height, go ahead.
strengthening the quadricep, the calf, ankle joint, from the hip joint to the ankle joint is our one unit, strengthening the entire leg. Let's do another four, three, two, one, stay here, stretching our hamstring. Feel how tight it is in your quarter Calf is firm as well. When you're ready, we're gonna go open, shut. Opening up the hip joint, stretching our inner thighs. Let's do another four, three, two, one, stay here, wide leg. Adjust your posture if you find it over time you're slumping over. Shoulders on top of hips. Staying out here, four, four, three, two, one, slowly bring the legs back to the center and release. Switching side. Adjust your band. Sit up tall. When you're ready, lift the leg up. Now you should still feel some resistance. Strengthening the quadriceps, the big muscles to support the knee. Calf, stretching our hamstring, ankle joint, working the entire unit. Nice and slow with control. Breathe in and out. Normally. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Stay here. If you need, hold on with both hands, shorten your band. If you have very tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knee or lower the leg down. And when you're ready, we're going to open shut. Only bring the legs to where you're comfortable. Let's do another four, three, two, one, stay here. Coming into a wide leg, stretching out the inner thighs as well. Four, three, two. One, slowly come back to center. We're gonna place both legs into your bend, adjust your posture. We're gonna inhale up, exhale down. Now, once again, don't lean back too much. If you need to shorten your bend, just hold on to a lower portion. Along you creating resistance, it's good to go. Four, 
three, two. One, stay here. Continue to stretch hamstrings in both legs. When you're ready, we're gonna widen the band. We're gonna go open shut. Coming into a wide leg, stretching out inner thighs in both legs. Let's do another four, three, two, one, release, switch inside, take your time. Have the elbow close to your body. Behind our back, so a longer bend, so it looks like this. If you need a longer bend, just hold on to the handle, that would make it a little bit longer for you. Adjust the length of your band.
four, three, two, one last one. Slowly, slowly release. And we're just gonna leave the hand on our back. Doing a few rounds of shoulder roll here. Release tension. Go the other way. Come back to center. Do a round of wrist rotation. Go the other way. Change light box. Shake it out. Bagging dog. Forward backwards. Thumb up. Different angle. Slowly release, ankle, point and flex. Strengthening the ankle joints. Pumping blood back to your heart. Helping you with circulation. One up, one down. Circle. Reverse. Slowly release, shake it up, make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your knees, make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, Side it out to release again. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, let it go. Shake it out. Now we're going to make our way to stand up. Moving the chair side. One leg forward, the other leg back. Front knees on top of the ankle. Square the hip to your front. Shoulders relax. Hold it up. Palm facing up for this. Let's do another four, three, two, one, slowly, slowly release, switching side, easily distribute the band, equal length, warrior stand, front knees on top of the ankle, back leg is straight, square the hip to the front, palm facing up. Tuck the elbows close to your body. Shoulders are relaxed. Four, three, 
two, one, slowly, slowly release. Switching side, I'm making one side longer than the other. Hold on to the short one, and I'm gonna lift it all the way up. So adjust the band to your height. Adjust the band. Holding on onto the shoulder side. When you're ready, reach up. Adjust your bands, extend. Now you should feel the resistance. So adjust the length of your band. Warrior stand. Muscle conditioning to maintain muscle mass, bone density. Delay the onset of muscle degeneration. Let's do another four. Three, two, one, switch inside. Switching legs. Adjust your band, widen your stand. Warrior stand, knee on top ankle. When you're ready, now I feel that this is too much slack, so I adjust the length of my band. Extend the arms out, elbows close to your body.
let's do another four. Three. Two. One. Now we're going to try both sides. So tuck the elbow close to your side and extend. Both arms. Let's do another four, three, two, one, pause it here. Be mindful of anyone who has shoulder issues here. Join the front leg, shake it out. Four feet into your strap. Crisscross. Pull it up. Shoulder height. Four, three, two, one. Stepping the legs a little bit wider. Now make sure you have bend in enough for this. Widen your stand, coming into a guard stand. Up. Palm facing up. Slightly tuck the tables in. Strong core work the thighs as well. Alternating. Three, two, one last one. Slowly release. And now we're going to slowly release the band, shake it out. Now hold on to the resistant band. Inhale up, exhale down if you can. Now, if you have any shoulder issues and causing this a whole lot of pain, don't worry about it. Always listen to your body to avoid injury. Now 
just going to do a couple more. This is the last one. And then you can slowly release. Shake it out. Stretching out the hamstring, front leg, straight back leg bend, hands resting on the thigh. Don't put a lot of weight on this thigh and don't wobble the knee in or out. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Front leg straight, back leg bend. You should feel the stretch here. Hamstring. And slowly, slowly release. Switching side, hamstring stretch, so front leg straight, back leg bend. Hand resting on the thigh. Slowly, slowly release, stepping the back leg to join the front leg. Just gonna do a quarter stretch. Now we're not opening up the knee, knees together, holding on to your foot. Give it a stretch in this quarter set. If you want to turn it into a dancer, balance pose, go ahead, or you can still hold on to the chair for support. When you have enough of it, slowly release. Shake it up, get a side. Grab hold the ankles. Keep the knee close to each other. Quarter step stretch. You can hold on for support. If you want to turn into a dancer, go ahead. Walk in a standing leg and ankle, tall spine. When you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release. And we're gonna transition to lie down on the yoga mat. So we can move the chair aside, but keep all your hands with you. Now, before you lie down, we're gonna put one of the band on our thighs, getting ready for the bridge pose. And I'm just gonna adjust the camera a bit. So come lie down on your mat. So I continue to have the uh, medium band around my thigh, getting ready for the bridge toes. Make sure you're comfortable with the band. Lie down your mat. I'm down by your side, palm facing down. Slightly tuck the chin in to protect your back. Release the spine down, keeping a natural curve in your lower back. When you're ready, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Continue at your own pace and your own breath. Engage the core abdomen muscles, your quadriceps, and your glutes are firm. So in another words, squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butt should be firm. Strengthening the front abdomen muscles and the lower back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong. Especially if you have back pain. When the chin is almost touching the chest, you're stimulating thyroid gland as well. All the weights in the shoulder, regular weights in the head of it.
Let's do another four. Three. Two. One, stay up here, up, up, up. On your tippy toes, lifting the hips even higher up. You can adjust your bridge by placing the hand on your waist, coming on your elbows. So this is the max that you can go. Staying here for another four, three, two, one, slowly, slowly come back down. Now we're going to go into a bicycle with the bed. So let's try it. So have it on your feet. Lower the legs down. Adjust your spine. Bicycle. Now make sure the bed is secure. That it's not going to snap into you. Feel that it's coming off, just be more careful and adjust your bed. Now, if you want to make it more challenges, lifting the hand chest up, opposite elbows, opposite knees. So, control movement here. Couple more rounds. One last one. Slowly, slowly release. Remove the band. Grab your hands around your knees. Rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like. Covering a bigger area. Massaging lower back and sacrum. And reverse. Slowly come back to center, coming into happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your shoes. If you don't want to touch the bottom of your shoes, just hold on to any part of the legs. Rocking side to side, coming into happy baby. Massaging the entire spine, entire back. Opening up the hip joint. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Straighten up the legs, hands behind the kneecap. Flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart, helping you with circulation, stretching our hamstrings. And having the legs up in the air, also help you with digestion, and hopefully improve sleep quality as well. So at home, you can pop your legs up the wall or a piece of furniture for a bit longer. Staying here for four, three, two, one. Nice and control. Slowly release the legs back down on the mat. Bounce it a few times. Bend both knees, drop them to the right side, raise your right arm. Making a pillow of the right tricep. So we're just going to come here for a moment. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up, coming into a comfortable seated position. 
Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for joining me for this resistant band and loop band fitness. See you another time.